My name's Johnny. How's it going, Joker fam? It's your boy, Ha Joker, aka the Black Joker, back out again. Another mad video for you guys. And today, as you guys know, Team of the Week is officially out. And what a surprise, man. We got ourselves another Raider, Robert Spillane, bro. Robert's been playing out of his mind, coincidentally, after we get a new coach. But, you know, it is what it is. Either way, man, Robert Spillane, obviously. Big time player for the Raiders defense. Very happy he's got an upgrade, man. This is his second team of the week upgrade. So very happy he's got a 91 now. Very usable card. But of course, we're going to go ahead and get into his stats. And of course, because you guys can't play. But before we get into Robert Spillane's stats, if you guys enjoy videos like this, man, if you guys enjoy Raider theme team content or theme team content in general, man, make sure you guys drop some laughs on our like button. And also, don't get subscribed to the channel, man. It's free. Only takes one second. With that being said, Robert Spillane comes in at 6 foot 1, 92 speed, 91 acceleration, 74 strength, 94 tackle, 87 play rec, 88 block shed, 89 hit power with a 69. Nice zone coverage. So obviously Robert Spillane will be a very good user, but as some of you guys should already know, season three has obviously came out too. And we already know we're getting to Ted Hendricks. Now Ted Hendricks is going to be a interesting card. More than likely will be a user, but here's the thing with this Robert Spillane. Since he is a run-stopping archetype linebacker, obviously his zone coverage isn't going to be good, and obviously neither would his man coverage. So for this gameplay, Robert Spillane is going to be the user, but obviously this is going to be subject to change at some point in time when we get Ted Hendricks upgrade to, upgraded to a usable you know type thing because i think you got to get all the way to like um 55 um for the season pass or for the yeah for the season three you got to get all the way to level 55 in order to max ted hendrix out which is ridiculous in itself but as it is we'll cross that bridge when we get to it but right now i'm very happy about this too because now we actually get to run four three how we actually want to we have keith murray here with uh lurk artist we have robert Spillane with lurk artist and we have chaining crowder with lurk artist so this is what no fly zone is looking like as a whole and obviously with the ap update we now officially have ronnie lot going to be running our deep um deep zone knockout or deep in zone knockout i should say and um that's it really we have like some random abilities on like sap he has run stopper again we're wait just waiting to get another um, good D tackle, you know what I'm saying, for the Raiders to have inside stuff. I'm really hoping that's going to happen sooner or later. But um, this is what No Fly Zone is looking like as a whole right now. Offensively, well, I should say, as much as I want a D tackle with inside stuff, I would much rather prefer a Raiders quarterback because I'm getting tired of using Mariota. But I digress. This is what the offense is looking like. No changes, but also another thing, too. Um, Thanksgiving um, or Harvest is coming out <coughs> uh, tomorrow. So we are going to get Amari Cooper, 91 overall. So he will be replacing more than likely Devontae Adams a little bit faster, a little bit more stat wise, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But as it is, as you guys can see, we are 50, 50 out of 50 on Raider Kim. And also, one more thing to keep in mind too if you guys don't know, with the new season update, also, we do have new. Um, Raider Kim for Team Affinity. So now you guys can have times two on Raider Kim, right? So right now we will be 51 out of 50. Now, obviously they have the uh, rare strike items in. We don't have any yet. Um, haven't gotten to stomaching to buy one of these damn good strike items for like a hundred plus K. But um, as it is, we obviously do have the Raider one. So we're 51 out of 50. So we do have a filler spot that we can kind of mess around with might use it on the kicker you know what i'm saying maybe um like some of you guys already know we're not going to use it on any of the primary positions quarterback receivers linebackers things of that nature right we'll just keep it to the old line just because you know it's the old line but as it is just something to keep in mind all right joker fam so we found ourselves a game the guard rear boys right there we got ourselves ronnie lott lamar jackson and it k9 kenneth walker so let's get into it all right, Joker fam. So starting out, no fly zone, man. Once again, like I said, Robert is going to be our user. And uh, as far as the X Factor goes, we do have a uh, dual threat on him. Uh, make a sack or a tackle for loss. Probably should have just went with reinforcement, low key. But you 
know, whatever. It is what it is. Okay. Not bad, not bad. All right, so we got ourselves a third and 11. Just gonna double maple both sides here. I'll use the middle myself. Charles Woodson, how are you not getting back? On 30 flats? Dirty flats. I, I don't know what else to do. Like, I, like, whatever. All right, Joker fam, we're on offense, man. This is not the, um, it's not the game you really want to have when Mariota's got to lead your team. You know what I mean? Like, it's not a situation you want to be in. It's not a comfortable situation. So we can do here. Got him. Fight! No, we don't. Saw Moss beat him off the press. Thought he, uh, thought he had him. But, um, apparently I was wrong. Mmm. That's on me. Didn't get over the middle. That's on me. All right, back on offense. Struggling a little bit on the fly zone, but we'll figure it out. Got to adjust. That's really about it, honestly. Thank God. <clears throat> hey, man. I don't... Whatever. I can't, I can't be mad at Mariota no more, bro. You know what I'm saying? There's no point in getting mad at him. I know, I know what he is. You know what I'm saying? Like, could break up. Yep. Only a matter of time before I start just randomly getting beat over top. All right, Joker fam. Second half, I mean, there's nothing There's nothing really more to say about this. It's just we got to throw accurate. <laughs> High point, poor accuracy. Wide open over the middle, man. Like, I can't make this up for y'all, man. I, I really can't. So, it, you know what I'm saying? You guys have seen enough of Mariota and me having bad quarterbacks. Like, y'all already know what it is, man. Look at that. Crazy. That was more covered than the first one that I threw. And yet somehow I still almost threw an inaccurate pick to a wide open receiver. Just in case he runs spinner again. Yep. Right over his head. Right over his head. All right, Joker fan. Back on the fly zone. We just gotta see what we can do here. He's gonna keep running this ball. That's all we, got. That's all we gotta do. Just time you. We're in 4 3 for a reason. We're supposed to have good run defense out of this. Good lord. Alright. See who we can lock up, man. Need this bad, so. He's still running the ball. And he's got the X Factor. Oh, man. Charles Woodson beat over top. <sighs> Charles Woodson. All right. Back on offense. I'm not... Not happy about this performance in the slightest. Not in the slightest, man. But it's definitely going to start with us getting stops on defense, bro. Much needed stops. Look at this. Once again, poor accuracy, bro. And, and I, I, that's not going to be open again. I know it's not. I know it's not going to be open again. This guy's giving it to me so many times, there's no way he's going to leave it open again. Look at that. Now he's playing it. Get in the end zone. Of 
course. Of course. Put up a zig route. Gets played. Why can't I click on the Mariota? Great. This was fun. All right, Joker fam. So I'm going to end the gameplay right there, man. As it is, I didn't get too much to do with Robert Spillane as far as using him. No picks, no nothing, really. Honestly, I... I've probably played K9 maybe once, maybe twice. I don't run into him too often. But there, I'm sure there's a reason why. Like, you have to have the most minimal amount of skill to run Freight Train in this game. Especially how OP RPOs already are. You know what I'm saying? Like, either way, I did learn something from this gameplay. Charles Woodson gotta hide him something because showing blitz for out of cover four it helps with the run fits i've already explained this in my cover going over cover four out of four three it helps with run fits so it helps stops to run obviously if you're going against a canine you kind of need to stop the run you know what i'm saying so gotta show blitz everybody's gonna press up now probably could just shade them back but i'm making so many other adjustments that like Worrying about Charles Woodson being played off is like the last adjustment that I'm really worried about, right? Got beat twice over the top. No problem. You know what I'm saying? So, um, as it is, I'm going to either have to hide him, switch sides. I don't even know where he is out in the lineup, actually. That might have something to do with it. No, he's not even he's not even CB1. So, I don't know, man. Charles Woodson is... Um, I don't know, man. He just he got beat twice over the top. That's not going to get the job done. You know what I'm saying? So, again, I'm not going to put it all on Charles Woodson. Uh, we had opportunities for picks. Dropped them, as usual. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Dude, had, he, homeboy had his opportunities for picks. I best believe he got them. Pass accuracies, best believe he got them. He dropped one pick, though. But... You know what I'm saying? I got to get a better quarterback. At least if I had a better quarterback, at least I know my passes are going to be, for the most part, accurate outside of under pressures. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be able to at least stay in games. You get what I'm saying? But missing open touchdowns and even, even the worst part of not having a good quarterback, I don't even have gunsling. You know what I'm saying? Mario doesn't get gunslinger. He doesn't get set feet. And I'm rocking both of them on uh, Troy Aikman right now. So it's like, it's tough, man. It really is. But either way, Robert Spillane. Worth the pickup? Um, depends, right? Raiders, linebackers, um, Channing Crowder, now Robert Spillane, um, Kenneth Murray. Neither one of them, well, between Kenneth Murray and Robert Spillane, neither one of them have very good zones nor very good man coverages. Um, Kenneth Murray probably has better man coverage than Robert Spillane, so it really just depends on what you're planning on doing. If you're gonna use a Robert Spillane, then okay, then he's worth the pickup. If you're not, then he's not gonna really do too much for you. Now granted, I don't know how well he will play in zone, despite him having such bad zone coverage. Because the thing is, all he has to do, is not like he's playing like, like a 30 yard flat, or a deep zone or something like that. He's just dropping out to the flats every time. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know how bad his zone playing, how bad his zone, um, his ability to play zone, I don't know how bad that stat is that he won't be able to play flats. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what that would really do for him playing flats. Like, is he just gonna be completely oblivious out there or what? I have no idea. But for the time being, I'm going to keep Robert Spillane even on my main team. Um, we've already gotten rid of Devin, um, Devin White. I'm about to say Devin Booker. I'm thinking about basketball. Uh, we already got rid of Devin White. So Robert Spillane is officially our user in the middle of the field. Obviously, we have um, Derek Brooks on the outside. And we have um, Kenneth Murray on the other side. So, you know, it is what it is. But it depends on what purposes you're planning on using him for if he's worth a pickup for you. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay, man. Once again, we'll bounce back. I'll get my defense right because that was, this is probably by far one of my worst 
gameplays because we played bad on both sides. And I'm hopefully we won't be posting gameplay like this again. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, man. If so, make sure you guys drop some laughs on the like button. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. It's free. It only takes one second. That being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right? Peace.